Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this bonus Unseen episode. We've got loads of Mattel stuff to take a look at. We've got loads in the fun folder, which I think you're going to really enjoy. Uh, we got an other folder with just loads of bits and bobs in there and a few other things as well. So, I mean, there's just so much to go through. We had to drop a bonus episode. So let's go through the Mattel stuff first. I think that even if you don't like figures, you'll enjoy this. There's lots of fun stuff to look at. If you really want to skip forward, though, uh, timestamps are in the description. But we're going to start with this video here. This is a video uh, from Ringside Collectibles. We're actually on their X account because they do a great job of just pulling all of this stuff together. So that way we can make sure that we really don't miss anything. But um, yeah, brilliant looking display, kind of based on Philadelphia. You can see the steps. You can see the statue. Got loads of figures. New figures absolutely everywhere. I think what really jumps out is Ray in that low rider um, that is going to be able for people to purchase. That will be available. They are making that. So uh, I think we've got some images of that coming up. Here is a John Cena, uh, a main event John Cena, and it's going to be completely see-through. Isn't that amazing? How cool is that? The body, the arms, the legs, the face, completely see-through. Now, some people might not know how the figures work, right? In the sense of what's a main event figure, what's an ultimate edition. So all you need to know is that all of the Mattel figures, this this style of Mattel figure, they're all in scale. So it doesn't matter if you buy a main event figure or an elite or an ultimate edition. It it, it doesn't matter. They're all you could put them all in a row and uh they're gonna look perfectly fine next to each other, right? But main event is kind of like the what the lowest one, yeah? That, there's not much articulation. So, you know, you can only bend the arms and the legs so much. Don't really come with any accessories. Um, maybe, like, the tattoo detail isn't, like, totally coloured in or something. So normally main event is your entry level. Then your next step up would be the elites. Uh, and a lot of people really love those because they give you that extra articulation they give you some more accessories but um price wise you know you're still probably around that 20 25 dollar mark right so it's not you're not going too crazy and then the next step up from that would be the ultimate editions not sure what they retail for 35 40 something like that maybe but uh swappable heads swappable hands that is like the best you can get from mattel so when we're talking about like main event elites ultimate edition that's kind of how it's uh how it how it all plays out so this is main event this is one of the kind of more entry level figures but still really cool really really cool i mean they probably won't make this john cena in any other line so if you do want this this might be the only way that you can get it for example Right, we've got some more main event figures. So here's Jay Uso giving a super kick to Austin Theory. And and look, you can see this is a main event figure, but look at the tattoo detail all over his arms and his chest. I wish that the facial expression was a bit more animated. He looks quite depressed. Uh, I would say that's probably uh, one of the issues that I've got with the figure. But you can't be off with that tattoo work. Absolutely incredible. And certainly for like one of the more entry level figures as well, you know. So love that. Here we've got another couple of main event figures. We've got John Cena in green. And we've got a uh, Hulk Hogan uh, with Python Power T-shirt on. So they look really, really cool. Again, more main event figures. These used to be called basics, but they don't call them basics anymore. Uh, this is Caden and Katana. So that's uh, really nice. I, I think um, they used to do them as two packs. I don't know that these will come as a two pack. You might have to get them individually. But Caden uh, and Katana, face scans look quite good. Certainly on Caden. Katana's looks good, but I think Caden's is better. Uh, she's got, like, tattoo work as well. Yeah, looks looks all right. But now we're getting to the good stuff. This, These are the ultimate editions. These are, like, the very top end, yeah? So let's have a look at this video. We've got Gunther. 
So there's Gunther, and you can see that great robe, swappable heads, swappable hands. Uh, here we've got, hard to tell, but I think, is that Jimmy? I can see the rock at the back. Then we've got Kevin Owens, comes with two championships and a cloth t-shirt. Uh, we've got Sammy, two championships as well, the tag titles, of course. Look at that, Cody. Look at that, Cody. Uh, and then you've got Batista. Down here, we've got John Cena with the towel, which is awesome. Swappable heads, swappable hands. And then we've got, look at these, Outsiders. Kevin Nash, Scott Hall. They come with championships. And this is the one people have been waiting for. Look at that. Wow. That Seth Rollins looks so good. So good. All of these are going to be coming out like throughout the rest of the year going into maybe early next year. I'd imagine like these will probably all of these will be out by the end of this year. I would imagine more main event figures. So we got Rowdy Roddy Piper. We've got Imperium. We have Kevin Owens getting choked about to be choke slammed by a, a cane by the looks of it. And talking of cane. There's like an OG Kane. People love OG Kane. So that is going to be very popular. That'll do very well. Then we got more, more main event as well. Lots of uh, main event figures. So that looks like Ray and maybe Dominic. I think the tattoos give it away as Dominic. Then we've got uh, Seamus. He is, I don't know who he's fighting. I'm getting a bit of a Carrion Cross vibe. Could it be Karrion Cross? Uh, then we've got, that's a really nice looking Seth Rollins. Really like that. Very cool. And yeah, she's my mammy shirt. So it uh, looks like that is Dominic Mysterio. So there we go. Dominic Mysterio, Dirty Dom. Right. Then we've got Shayna Baszler. That looks really cool. That's uh, a main event figure. Then we've got more main event figures. We've got Roman Reigns and Bron Breaker. Now, it looks like that Bron Breaker comes with a belt, which is pretty strange, pretty wild. I would be absolutely shocked if that Bron Breaker came with a belt, unless this is going to be part of like a two-pack and it comes with a championship, maybe. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they're doing. You get both figures and the belt in like a two-pack. You can see a Million Dollar Man and an Ultimate Warrior. Looks like we've got a Ray and a John Cena. Obviously, no no details as to whether these are going to be individual or in a two-pack. Don't know why we would have a Bron Breaker with a Roman Reigns, though. So, interesting. But either way, on the way. Um, and we've got another video. So, here, look, we've got... Uh, uh, I think these might be elites. So we've got Sammy. That's the territory pack that's coming out soon. Uh, we've got Kevin Owens in a Dusty Rhodes shirt. Then we've got the Bushwhackers in their kind of doink disguises. Uh, and then we've got Headbangers. And uh, we've got like a retro OG Dudley Boys. And then we've got the LWO. Look at that, Zelina. That Zelina is incredible. Then we've got Booker and Stone Cold. We've got John Cena and uh, Eddie. And then uh, Kane, Dudley Boys. We've got a few, a few of those figures have been out before. They're sort of like re-releasing them. I think they're called From the Vault. It's like a new line of old figures that have been out before that they're getting around to re-release him. I, I need that. You get all four figures in a box. It's called the Territory Pack. I think it's only available on Mattel Creations. But, um, God, look at the work that's gone into this, man. Just looking at the shirts and, I mean, you can see some of them are still in uh, progress. Some of them, they're not like the, their final form, yeah? So uh, they are still working on bits and bobs, but no, it looks absolutely brilliant. That does. Looks really, really cool. Right. Uh, more main events. Oh, my God. So here we have got Gunther and Ludwig. We've got Ultimate Warrior and a really nice million dollar man. I like him in the suit. Uh, there we've got AJ Styles and Stone Colts by the looks of it. And then that image uh, again that we saw before. 
So, uh, very cool. I like doing it this way. This way we make sure we don't miss anything, you know. So there's um, Mankind, Mick Foley, Kane. That's a better look at the Kane that was uh, grabbing a hold of Kevin Owens. There we've got The Rock and Roman. Roman looks really thin. Um, the Rock doesn't look quite right either, to be honest. Not sure I'm really feeling that pack but that looks like it's going to be i'm guessing both of those will come together and at the front you can see a john cena more of a modern john cena with a uh, dominic mysterio so uh we've got those then we've got let's have a look what have we got here so a cody rhodes a cody rhodes with bron breaker not sure that's like cody rhodes in a bit of a tracksuit is it I can see a bit of a hood on his top here. Uh, so Cody Rhodes, Bron Breaker. That looks like Tiffany Stratton in the background. Maybe it is. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you can see better the John Cena, the Dominic Mysterio. There's Seth. What a great belt. I don't know that we've seen this belt before. I know we saw it on Bron Breaker earlier, but I don't think we've had it in the line before this. So you can probably see why they're so excited that this belt is now coming into the line. And uh, a Rey Mysterio as well. Right, here we've got the Dudley boys. We just looked at them, uh, the Dudley boys, so we don't need to click on that. Headbangers, we just looked at that in the video. But look at the shirt, look at the belts, the old school tag belts. Fantastic. There's uh, Zelina Ray LWO. Saw that in the video as well. Elite figures on the way. The Bushwhackers uh, in their doink disguises. Sammy and Kevin. Kevin in that dusty road shirt. That was They were all in that video. Uh, here we've seen these as well, of course. Cena and Eddie and uh, Booker T and Stone Cold. Imperium. I don't, have we seen Imperium? I can't remember if we saw Imperium. I know we saw Imperium with Gunther, but uh, these are the elite Imperiums that come with these cloth shirts. So uh, European Elegance, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. So uh, just a bit of a closer look at those. Look great, don't they? Looks like we've got a few other like DX figures and whatever here. I think these ones are the ones in the background, the DX ones. I think they're from the vault. Remember we said earlier there's a few figures that are getting re-released that we've had previous. Great looking, Trish. Look at that. With entrance gear. Looks really cool. And there's a closer up shot of uh, her. Really cool. Wow. ECW. I mean, they had to do it, really, because we are in Philadelphia, the home of ECW. So here is Sandman. Sandman with barbed wire and an ECW shirt, cloth shirt as well. You can see Tony D'Angelo in the background. Um, and uh, another Sandman there. Is that with the cloth shirt off, maybe? Um, look at that. Look at the, wow, look at the pants and, uh, the beers and the kendo stick looks so good. And you can see some figures in the background we haven't seen, like a Shinsuke, a Bailey, a Cody, some Usos. Man, so much, so much has been shown. That's a different one, isn't it, actually? That's not, uh, the same. The, they must be coming out with a couple of Sandman figures. So, uh, that looks really cool. I think I prefer the other one, to be honest, the, 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 this one. But, um, yeah, brilliant. Oh, here's Tony. Here's Tony D'Angelo. Looks pretty good. I like the, the tracksuit. The top looks awesome. Uh, the face, um, I don't know. It looks, it looks there or thereabouts. Uh, ricochet looks brilliant. Look at the tattoo work on that ricochet. Brilliant. Really fun. So that's the ricochet. Let's go up. Wow, we've got more. Look at this. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that. Judgment Day. We got Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio. Look at the Dominic Mysterio figure as well. Uh, the, the Damian Priest, the face scan on that looks fantastic. And there's uh, Finn Balor. 
with uh, the writing on his shoulder. I can't remember. I remember him having it, but I can't remember the show that he had it on. But uh, that looks really good. The Damien Priest looks really good. The Dirty Dom looks really good. So, uh, yeah, got that. So this is the display. Did we look at this one? I don't know if we looked at this one. This is the display for the uh, main event figures, the basic figures. Uh, we have looked at these kind of individually, but uh, here you're just getting a bit of an overview, and we can just make sure there's a nice Rhea Ripley. There's that Hogan. You see Bianca. She's got Becky. There's the ring and what's happening in the ring. You can see they've posed them all. Mr. T in his referee attire as well. So uh, we've got those figures over there. So it gives you an idea of the displays that are being shown at the moment. I mean, there may even be more figure reveals. If you saw the... There's Tiffany. I believe that's Tiffany. If you saw the last unseen, you'll know that CM Punk is going to be on the Mattel panel. So I fully expect a load of CM Punk figures to be shown. Uh, we haven't seen any here, so I'm thinking there's more on the way. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Uh, people love Dirty Dom and Mommy. So there's uh, the Dirty Dominic Mysterio Elite that's on the way with the uh, shirt. And look at that. Wow. That is so good. I love how they've got the tattoo detail with then, like, the fishnets over the top. And uh, obviously... The uh, old uh, SmackDown Championship, SmackDown Women's Championship. Very cool. And uh, the tattoos, Mysterio on his hands. That's a brilliant, brilliant looking figure that is, you know. I really, I really like that, Dominic. Uh, here we have uh, Jay. It was Jay. That's the Ultimate Edition Jay. Ultimate Edition John Cena. Obviously, we saw these in that video. Uh, Ultimate Edition Seth looks amazing. So good. Here is Bailey. We didn't look at Bailey. So there's Bailey in her damage control shirt, giving the thumbs down. And uh, she's standing next to Sandman. It's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. I like that. I like that, Bailey. Gunther, we saw that. That's uh, Ultimate Edition Gunther. And uh, we saw the Outsiders as well. Very good. We saw the Cody. We saw Sammy. We saw uh, Kevin Owens. These are Ultimate Editions. So these are the very top ones. That's uh, an Elite Cody. So this is not going to be as expensive as the Ultimate Edition. It's also not going to come with loads of swappable heads and swappable hands and whatever. But uh, still looks really good, doesn't it, that Cody? Uh, what else have we got? Oh, hello. Haven't seen this one, have we? This is a different display, is it? Thought we'd done them all, but look at this. So we've got uh, Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler uh, with a WCW championship. Uh, very nice. That's an ultimate edition as well. So again, at the front, look, swappable heads, swappable hands, cloth shirt, championship as well. That is great. Haven't seen this WCW display. So I don't know where images of this has been hiding, but it looks like we need to have a look at uh, that. Here's another one. Look, this is Monday Night Wars Mankind. So there he is with the uh, Attitude Era Championship. This is Ultimate Edition, so swappable heads, Mankind. Mr. Socko as well. It's really good. Oh, we've got an, an, an Elite LA Knights. I think we can see that quite clear there. I don't think we need to go bigger on that. An Elite LA Knight. Uh, they're working on, but not finished yet, you can tell, an upcoming prototype for Dusty Roads. So it looks like an Ultimate Edition. Swappable heads, swappable hands, a nightstick, cloth, top as well, uh, a hat. Looks really good. That, when it's finished, looks like it's going to be absolutely awesome. So uh, Dusty Roads on the way. There is the car. So that's Ray in this low rider. That's going to be available to purchase. Not sure when, but it'll be on the way. 
So this is best of series four, Batista and The Rock. So let's click on this and we'll go full screen. So there's Batista giving the thumbs down, of course. Swappable heads. And uh, there's The Rock. Look at that. So cool. Swappable heads as well. Lovely. Oh, wow. Oh, man, there's just so much. Look at this. We got the High Chief, Peter Mayavia. We got The Rock. We got Rocky Johnson. You can see Muhammad Ali as a ref from WrestleMania 1 in the background. I can see a little bit of Chelsea Green in the corner. Uh, I don't think they're going to be selling this uh, statue. But, uh, yeah, that looks so good. The Rock as a statue. It's very, very cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they'll be selling that. There's uh, old school kind of uh, rock. Uh, that was when he was uh, champion. I think we're going back to, like, what, 2013, 2014? Kind of when he was feuding with John Cena. And we've got some Uso figures as well. These are all elites. So they look really good. I didn't know there was this much, guys. I really didn't. I didn't know they'd shown all of this. So these are superstar figures. So these are different now, right? This is somewhat different. These won't be to the same scale. But what's so great about these is they all come with like cloth items. And they're just, they're really fun. They're just smaller, but they're still highly detailed. And they come with cloth items and they look great. So like, look at that. Tatonka looks brilliant. With his cloth item. Uh, there's Hogan at the back. I'm sure he'll come with something. Um, so, yeah, maybe not the finished article. You can actually see a prototype Razor Ramon as well. Uh, big boss man, look at that. With a cloth top. Excellent. Excellent. Love that. Uh, we should have some more images here. So there is Brutus the Barber Beefcake. We've got the Razor Ramon prototype, of course, not not finalized. Look at that, Kane. Love Kane with a cape. Uh, a lot of you all know that Kane did a house show before he actually debuted and he wore a cape. And it's kind of folklore. So, uh, yeah, that's amazing. And there's that display again. Love the um, Muhammad Ali and the Doink. We haven't seen them unless they're about to come up. Are they about to come up? No. No, we haven't seen them. Right, these, again, this is another different line. This is the retro line. People love this because it's exactly the same scale and style as the old Hasbro figures from the early 90s. So here, look, you, I mean, it's just loads in there. I mean, drink it in. Drink it in. There's Isaac Yankum. You can see Undertaker in the background. we got Roddy Piper in the ring. Uh, that's a brother love prototype. Looks like Big John stood behind him. I can see Greg the Hammer Valentine when he was in Rhythm and Blues. That is Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak Kid, of course. I can see, I can see a Paul Bearer and I can see a British Bulldog. So uh, I don't know if we've got images of them. Yes, we do. So there's British Bulldog. Might as well click on it. There's the British Bulldog, Davy Boy. Looks really good. That's Big John Studs. Uh, we've got Undertaker when he had broken his orbital bone. And uh, we've got Paul Bearer with the urn as well. In the background, you can see uh, Vader. And you can also see uh, Jerry the King Lawler. And you can also see what looks to be the New Age Outlaws in uh, packaging. So, so much stuff. Uh, and now we've got some new images, uh, a new Shinsuke figure. So this is series 109. I don't I don't think these have been shown, but there's uh, Shinsuke. Wow, that's so good. That is so good. So that's the uh, Shinsuke figure. 109. Looks like they do another version of that. Where it's going to be uh, the same, but just different colors. A different kind of color uh, scheme. Still the same robe, though. That looks very cool. Then we've got Seth. And there he is with his championship belt. So this is Seth 109. Comes with that world heavyweight championship. Looks a bit sad in the face, doesn't he? Um, but it's still cool. I like the ring gear. That's still cool. 
Damien Priest. Is this the Damien Priest that we just looked at? Could be. Could be. Yeah, uh, it looks cool, though. It looks really, really good. So that's going to be part of series 109. We've also got the Bailey. We definitely just looked at the Bailey. This is the Judgment. No, not the Judgment Day. The Damage Control uh, Bailey. I still had Damien Priest on my mind. It's good, isn't it? Uh, I really like that Bailey. I think that's really good. Then we've got this as part of 109. This is Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes in a suit. And it's going to come with a chair and headphones and a microphone. So you're getting some uh, accessories. This is like promo uh, Cody Rhodes. Commentary Cody Rhodes. So uh, there we go. Cody Rhodes on the way. Uh, we've also got uh, Dominic Mysterio. He's going to be part of Elite 109. We've got Top Picks uh, Wave 3. They're on the way. We've got Ultimate Edition 21. The Cody, the Kevin, and the Sammy. And that is everything for Mattel. Wow. Oh, wow. I can't believe it, man. I did not know there was going to be that much. So let me just go down my folder and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Although saying that, look at this. My Damn Toys has found a Ricky the Dragon steamboat and a Million Dollar Man that we didn't just see. So it looks like Ringside Collectibles didn't quite uh, pick up on everything because there's a couple there that we uh, didn't see. Uh, there is uh, John Cena. Did we get that Stone Cold as well? Don't know if we saw that Stone Cold either. That's also uh, My Damn Toys. Hmm. Uh, we saw that. We saw that. We saw uh, this. Um, WWE live auctions are running throughout the entire weekend. Head to Fanatics Live for a chance to bid on your favorite WWE items. Just worth you know him. Saw that. Right, Chan Man said the top WWE shop merchandise sellers for March. Rhea Ripley at eight. Randy Orton at seven. The Rock at six. Stone Cold at five. CM Punk at four. Jay Uso outsold CM Punk. Roman Reigns at two. And Cody Rhodes at one. I mean, what I would say is that we didn't see much of Punk in all fairness, right? But that's still very, very impressive for Jay. Very impressive. Right. Uh, we saw all these ringside ones. We've seen that. We saw those. I really want to make sure we've seen everything here. Look at this. WrestleMania 40. Wrestle effing mania. It's good, isn't it? Very good. Uh, some more there. Paul Heyman, the originator of Extreme. And uh, there's some ECW-inspired shirts from the Superstore. There's the uh, lowrider car. So you get the Ray figure with the Lucha lowrider. So that'll be on the way. We saw that. And there's Trish. She says, go get her. Just look at Mother. So uh, there we go. There's the figure. That's what it's based on. Looks really, really good. Uh, figures, which I have not, I don't think we've seen these either. Let's click on this and go here. So there's the dude sat in the uh, King of the Ring. That's amazing if you can actually sit in it. I wonder if you were meant to sit in it. I'm not sure, but he's sat in the King of the Ring throne. More figures, and we haven't seen these ones. Why didn't they? Where, where's Ringside Collectibles? What are they doing? So here you can see, like, we saw the Dusty. We've seen The Undertaker before. There's a new Vader on the way. Captain Lou Albano. Look at that. We've got Ultimate Warrior. we got got uh, uh, New Japan Hogan. That's Big Bubba, isn't it, with the UWF Championship. That looks like the Sultan. Warlords. Look at the Hogan with the guitar. How awesome is that? And then we got a Hogan down here as well. So... Looks like there are more figures, but Mattel are doing like loads of figure reveals over the next few days. There's uh, uh, Richard at the In Your House bit. Amazing. Amazing. WWE World is just the best. 
Uh, and there, there's Richard posing with this uh, King of the Ring uh, crown and the uh, cape and everything. So good. So, so good. Uh, we did that one. Uh, we saw those. We saw that massive Undertaker pop vinyl with some pop vinyls underneath. That's all that was. Um, we saw those. Oh, yeah. Roman Reigns is in Madden 24. So he's actually in this game, Madden 24. You can play and have him in your team, in your ultimate team. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, we've got this new set. So you remember we looked at the Stone Cold, the Booker T, the John Cena, and the Eddie Guerrero. Well, it's all going to come in this four-pack Target exclusive four-pack. How awesome is that? Uh, we've seen that video. We've seen this. Uh, we've seen that. I don't think we saw that, though. We didn't see this Jim the Anvil, did we? So there's Jim the Anvil Neidhart. He was in that display. We saw the Cena. Yeah, it looks like there was a... What, what was that one? Oh, look at that, Kurt Henning. Uh, in NWO. Very, very fun. So uh, done that. And then we've got this one here. This is Johnny Gagano just signing cards and putting like quite a bit of a message in. He says, uh, baby wrestling's dad. And then he's signed it, Johnny Wrestling. So uh, and he's put the uh, year of that picture and the year that that picture was taken and he's uh, signed it. So, uh, yeah, Johnny just having a bit of fun there. So, I mean, look, wow, that's over half an hour we spent on that. I didn't know that it was going to be that long. I really, really didn't. But some really fascinating stuff in there. But we need to move, man. We need to get through these folders. So um, not much more on the Drew Gulak story, but um, Brian Alvarez on Wrestling Observer Radio said there were people uh, on Tuesday when the story came out, there was people that thought, man, Drew Gulak's probably going to be gone tomorrow, right? This coming after the Ronda Rousey allegations. Um, it doesn't look like he has. Right, He came out with his statements, and it doesn't look like anything has happened. So uh, that's the latest on Drew Gulak. This is cute. You're going to love this. My goodness, he stayed up all night. All night. Look at that. Oh. I mean, I don't think Seth has noticed that the kid is wearing an uh, honorary Usha. So, technically, that means that he's bloodline. So, oh, I don't know that... Uh, if he'd have spotted that, I don't know that he would have reacted that way. Um, but isn't that just the cutest thing? So, amazing. Then we've got this GCW folder. So, CM Punk and Braun Strowman, uh, Mia Yim, Meechin, they were all there at this GCW show. Um, just incredible. So was Nick Khan. Nick Khan popped by uh, for Bloodsport, uh, Josh Barnett's Bloodsport. You might remember this is the one, this is the show that Shayna Baszler uh, is competing in, or did compete in. So there's uh, Nick Khan posing with a fan. I'd love to get a picture with Nick Khan. How amazing. I mean, he is head honcho, you know? He's basically the Vince McMahon now. Here's uh, Shayna making her way out. So Shayna coming out, and she came out with Zoe Stark. So Zoe and Shayna head into the ring. Uh, Charlie Dempsey competed as well. So Charlie Dempsey was in action. I think both Shayna and Charlie won. Uh, and uh, look at this. We've got... So Shayna Baszler with the greatest fan club, Katana, Piper Niven, CM Punk, Natalia, Karrion Cross, Meechin, Candice, Caden, Tegan Knox, and Braun Strowman all cheering on. Shayna Baszler. How amazing is that? Oh, and this is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. So this kid, look, put his hand out to Suzuki, right? Put his hand out to Suzuki. Suzuki goes over, stares at the kids, right? Gets, look at the kid, man. Standing, standing strong. And uh, he just does that. 
<laughs> and then off he goes. So uh, very, very cool. So seems like it was really happening at uh, GCW and at uh, Bloodsport. So really, really cool. Right, we need to go into the fun folder. I think we've got a few bits in here. Quite a few bits, look. Look at all this. And we've got so much stuff, it won't let me scroll down. There we go. So, uh, Nails and MY, thank you. You might remember yesterday we said The Rock does definitely watch Unseen. And uh, there we go. She found evidence. Nails and MY found... I didn't realise I'd been doing this that long. But, um, well, you know, a picture never lies, does it? A picture never lies. Uh, Kirsten said, I'm screaming, bro, L-M-F-A-O. So look at this. He throws him. <laughs> What's he doing? What is Jay doing? Jay gets chucked, thrown down. He sort of scoots back and then... Uh, just lies there. This, you might remember, The Rock then goes to the ring and with Roman starts to beat down Cody and Seth. Why was this footage shown? We never saw this on the show the other day. We never saw this on Raw. So why has this been shown? Why, where's this come from? Why have they shown this? I don't think this makes Jay look very good because I'm looking at it right now going, dude, you could so get up. You could so get up now and you could go and help Cody and you could go and help Seth. And there might be people going, oh, my God, this is proof that Jay's going to turn on Cody, um, which honestly, it does seem that way. But um, I don't think he will because we know that we're getting Jay versus Jimmy at WrestleMania. So, you know, I, I don't think that he's, you know, a heel here or anything because we're doing that match, aren't we? We're still doing Jay versus Jimmy. I just, I don't know why they've released this. I really think this was a massive oversight to allow this footage to come out. So Kirsten screaming, can't believe what, uh, what they've seen. Uh, Jax, thank you. Oh, this is good. Um, hello. Hi. I'm sure that up, when you came to the Hall of Fame section, you assumed I was going to be here. So if you want, you can just get a quick photo of me. Future Hall of Famer. <laughs> Thank you. That's, That's it. it. That's all I've done. That's it. She's done. Bye. Bye. Can I get a picture? Nope. Oh, yeah. No. Can I get a picture? Nope. Love that. And her top says, can I speak to the manager? Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, Bailey begs The Rock to rock bottom, Michael Cole. Rocky, can you rock bottom Cole, please? <laughs> Give Michael Cole a rock bottom. <laughs> That's Bailey from the side of the stage. Uh, right, Bloodsport. Uh, Mia Yim, Shelton Benjamin, it would sell out. And Mee Chim responded, I'd F him up. I would F him up up uh and look at this on the stage at wwe worlds you might remember that the rock in an interview uh, back in the day put a rock shirt over michael cole's face well they recreated it on stage at uh, wwe worlds so uh very fun very very fun right uh we also had i don't know why it keeps jumping it's glitching oh it doesn't like it does it does not like it at all uh, the city of motherly love. So there we go. Kathy Kelly looking at uh, a banner of Rhea Ripley. Uh, here's Bailey again causing trouble. Michael Cole. Stupid lights. Michael Cole, do your job. <laughs> Job, Michael Cole. Right uh, here, look, Bailey responding to that Bailey figure. Uh, it says here, Bailey breaks out on her own. And Bailey said, Well, then she'd better take that shirt off. So uh, I thought that was fun. Uh, right. Uh, Noam Dar said, Any fans walking around Philly with replica belts, be ready to defend them against me on the spot. No questions asked. I'll bring a ref. 
So there we go. Noam Dar said, if you're going to walk around with a replica belt, you'd better be ready to defend it. This person here said, this is a memory I will never forget. Thank you, Bailey, for being so kind. We'll meet again one day, right? They obviously didn't feel comfortable showing their face that they did that. And Bailey said, you look great. <laughs> You look great. It's a great picture. You really look great. Now, I don't know why this keeps glitching, but uh, this is uh, where we got to. So here, this is really random. Cricket Wireless, right? Let's see Lazy. if we can pause it. They're looking to try and find a way of growing. And so uh, there's Chad and Otis, and they decide to put... The way they're going to grow is they're going to put a phone in a chair right and then like they uh start having fun with this chair so it's got blazing 5g speeds shoosh send i love that it's very good 5g streaming as well like you can plug in your headphone into this chair it's got a built-in fog machine uh in the back of it right so that's the screen on the front and uh, there we go. So introducing chair phone. We had some fun with our friends, Gable and Otis, putting the power of 5G into a phone. So there we go. Chair phone uh, has come out. And the reason that I included this is because obviously it's got Otis and Chad Gable in. But it says, see the very real chair phone at chairphone.com. So if you go to chairphone.com, I don't know what's on that website. I've not done it yet. But it says you can see the very real chair phone. I think they might have put a phone screen and everything in a chair. So <laughs> it was so random. I couldn't not include it, to be honest. I couldn't not include it. Right. I just want to see. Did we definitely get everything? I think we did. I think we did. I think that Kathy Kelly one keeps uh, glitching this, you know. Well, anyway, let's go uh, down. So, Drew Gulak, we've done. Cute, we've done. GCW, we've done. Merch, we've done. Fun, we've done. So, just one more to go. Right, let's make our way down. Uh, here, we've got uh, Nikki Cross. She said she's dreaming of the day that this PhD will be completed. So that's what she's been doing. She's been doing a PhD. So that might explain why we've not seen so much of her. Uh, Tim here said, not for not for many, apparently. Don't know what this is, but look, she's picking at her nails in the ring, right? As the camera's on her. Nia Jack says, lol, I got in trouble for this. Which I just thought was a really fun insight there. She got in trouble for doing that, apparently. Right, uh, Triple H agreed when asked that it was time for a WWE talent to get a signature Jordan deal. And Javon Evans said that he's going to be the first wrestler to have that Jordan deal. Just watch. They should, shouldn't they, really? They should get uh, deals like that. Sponsorships and whatever. So uh, that would be cool. So Javon Evans wants to be the first. Right, Bleacher Report has ranked the top 50 superstars of all time. We've got the top eight here. Uh, I don't know that anyone on the planet would agree with this, right? Um, even if it's 99% there, I'm sure you still find something in this 50 that you would disagree with. I think I pretty much disagree with the whole 50, right? But uh, here, look, they've got Shawn Michaels at eight, The Rock at seven, Bruno San Martino at six, John Cena at five, Undertaker at four, Macho Man at three, uh, Stone Cold at two, and Brett the Hitman Hart at number one. Brett the Hitman Hart at number one. So no Hogan in the top eight, no Roman in the top eight. Um, we do get Stone Cold. We do get The Rock. There is Bruno, which I thought was a surprise, a welcome surprise, uh, actually. Uh, Macho Man above John Cena. Macho Man above Undertaker. Macho Man above The Rock. Bret Hart at one. Shawn Michaels at eight. I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to include it just to let you know that uh, you can have a look at that and uh, disagree with it in your own time.
Uh, then uh, here's a picture look of uh, Rossi. We spoke about Rossi. If you haven't seen the other video, one of the big stories is that Rossi, who is the guy that started Stardom, he is starting his own promotion and seemingly working with WWE, right? He's at WWE Worlds. So is Julia, who is a massive female Japanese star. Um, she's going to be joining WWE. She is at WWE Worlds. So people are thinking, could, Ju could Rossi and Julia both be shown at Stand and Deliver? Could WWE not only announce that Julia's coming in, but announce that they've got a relationship, a working partnership with Rossi and his new promotion? That would be huge because that means that as his training talent, when they're ready, WWE can bring them over to America right? It would mean that they've basically got an NXT in Japan, which would be absolutely huge. And they have looked at doing like NXT Asia, NXT Japan. So I don't know. It's, it's something's happening, right? It's very exciting. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see what the weekend brings. So here was Piper Niven. She said, I'm so happy to see Rossi San. I last saw him in person in 2017. I'm so pleased that he looks exactly the same as I remember. Happy and healthy. It's my firm belief that I would not be where I am today if Rossi had not brought me to Japan. Always grateful. Right, Bianca Belair was awarded a certificate for having the largest digital video game display. This isn't actually her video game display. I think she was part of a, a group of um, superstars that unveiled this display. Uh, so I thought I'd include it because it's not every day you see a uh, WWE superstar getting a Guinness Book of World Records certificate. But um, uh, yeah, technically it's not something she's done or owns, right? It's something that she was a part of the presentation of, if you will. So I uh, just thought I'd include it. It was uh, uh, an interesting image that was doing the rounds. Here's Julia. We just spoke about her. So Julia... Uh, giving a yawning emoji 10 hours ago. Um, she obviously has just come over from Japan and uh, she's been at WWE Worlds. And so where is she going to pop up next? Where is she going to pop up next? Will we see her in the crowd at Stand and Deliver? Right, a uh, little bit of AEW news here. So the boys were released from... AEW. You might remember there was quite a few people that got released. Uh, well, the boys were one. And uh, Tony was asked about it, Tony Khan. And he, so asked specifically about the boys being cut, given their key Ring of Honor storyline with Dalton Castle. Tony Khan said the cuts are all different situations. He said both Brandon and Brent Tate didn't show to work on multiple occasions so he's saying they got cut because we asked them to show up and they didn't sometimes right they responded or brandon responded oh it's like that stand by so it seems like these guys are gonna go off man they got cut and uh i don't think they agree with what tony khan said so uh, it'll be very interesting to see what uh they've got to say Maxine Dupree uh, previews something that she's going to be wearing soon. So, uh, yeah, this outfit. Not sure when she's going to be wearing it, but uh, she was uh, showing that off. Uh, and, yeah, this is the last thing we've got. Natalia said, thank you uh, so much for having me. I love supporting women's wrestling in any way that I can. It was such a pleasure visiting. So stardom. Stardom actually had Natalia there, right? President Okada welcomes women's wrestling superstar Natalia to Stardom American Dream 2024. Notice how it doesn't say, and people pointed this out, it doesn't say WWE superstar. It says women's wrestling superstar which is kind of interesting. I don't know if she went to this show in an official capacity 
or if she went just as Natalia, right? Because uh, it seems a bit strange if she went like under WWE's banner, if you will, because I'm not aware of a relationship that they've got with Stardom. So this feels like she might have gone there of her own accord. And then it is very interesting that they don't mention her as a WWE superstar. So just thought you'd find that uh, interesting. Natalia popping along to the stardom show. And that's everything. I mean, wow. But both videos put together coming in just under two hours. Um, obviously, so much stuff. And there's going to be so much more. Um, we definitely can't keep doing this every day where we do uh, two unseen videos. But I want to make sure that you get all that information, all the stuff that's happening at the moment. I want to make sure that uh, if, if I see it and I think it's good, I want to make sure I'm bringing it to you. So, uh, yeah, this is it. So now we've got the WrestleMania kickoff show. We've got SmackDown. We've got the Andre Memorial Battle Royal, of course, on that show. We've got um, the Hall of Fame. That's going to be happening. Then, of course, we'll do an Unseen We'll just do the best we can, really, right? Because then I need to get to sleep because I need to get up because we're doing Stand and Deliver live stream, WrestleMania live stream. Then, of course, on the next day, we're doing the Slammies live stream. Then we've got the second day of WrestleMania live stream. Then, of course, after that, we've got Raw. Um, and then we'll do NXT. And then literally, I'm going to pass out. At that point, I will pass out. So, so much on the way. This is just us clearing the decks, getting ready for whatever this weekend has got for us. I hope you're excited. You better be excited. Uh, I also did the stage reveal video as well. So we haven't got stage reveal stuff in this because that's got its own video. So uh, I, I really didn't want to chuck that in here also. So uh, yeah, lots on the channel for you to enjoy. Appreciate the support as always. Hope you enjoyed this bonus unseen and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.